In this short lesson, I want to show you how to work with WordPress template files to create a specialized template that will allow you to lay out a particular page um, in a completely customized way. Okay, so for example, I have kind of a, a couple uh, template files that pretty much lay out my pages either as full pages like this or uh, maybe with a sidebar along the side as we see right here and however say I want to do something completely different um, here's how we can do that first of all um, if we come in and uh, go ahead and create a new page as I've created a page here uh, called test you could call it whatever you wanted I've got this test page that I've created and um, put a little bit of content on it Let's take a look real quick at what's called the slug. Uh, again, the slug is um, here inside this uh, text edit box. You'll see uh, pretty much pretty much the name of the file uh, or the name of the page, all in lowercase. If there's got multiple words in the page name, it'll have uh, hyphens in between each word. And WordPress automatically creates this slug whenever you create a new page. This particular page has the slug test. Um, when I want to create a specialized template just for a particular page, uh, it's really quite easy. Um, I can go ahead and as you can see here, I can create a new template file that begins with the word page, then a hyphen, and then the slug name of whatever page that I want to create a template for. So I've created one called pagetest.php. And um, what I can do now is whenever this page, this test page, now let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick here by uh, just put in the slug test we'll see that it'll call a particular page and this particular page has nothing in it so far um, and the reason for that if I go back to the page test file here we'll see that I've created a page and it basically has no content in it yet okay um, a specialized template page will have a comment at the top it'll begin with a PHP tag and um, it calls three very important um, template tags get header, get sidebar, and get footer. And then in between those, um, it's just going to have uh, some div tags that mark out the class names for the content. And then right down in here, I can go ahead and put some static content. So I'm going to go ahead and begin by doing that. Just let's put in an H1. Uh, we'll just call it an H1 with the name test page and uh, closing our H1 and if we go ahead and do that save this and go over here and refresh our page we're going to see now we have an H1 here that says test page so whatever content I put inside this particular page template file in this area will show up as content so you can see really quickly I can now um, create a completely unique page layout for just one particular page it'll only apply to this page the one that has the slug or the page name test and it will not apply to any other page um, in my WordPress site and so uh, if you want to create a unique layout that only applies to one page this is a way you can do it again you create a PHP file that begins with the word page then puts the slug name and then in there you can do anything you want now um, you're always going to want to call the header probably and you're always going to want to call the footer but you don't have to call a sidebar say you want to have it be a uh, full full width page instead of having a sidebar I can just go ahead and delete that template tag that says gets sidebar and save it and then come here and now let's refresh and we'll see what happens over here this should uh, disappear so we see now I have a full width page that comes all the way across but there's no sidebar now a little bit about the divs here we can see I have a div at the top I have two of them one with the ID name primary and a class name site content and another with an ID content and then we both of those divs are closed right here it's really important that you identify these um, opening and closing divs uh, from your main page template so that you use the right class names or otherwise your CSS that you're using to um, layout the page might not work correctly so um, I just went over here and looked at the page template which again I copied in from the parent theme 
and I, I saw that that was the divs that was used here and here and so I just brought those in so that I could use them in this page as well. Or you can create completely different divs with different IDs and class names and then create some CSS that would lay out the page completely different. Again, that's up to you using your HTML and CSS skills. Okay. So um, that's quickly how you create a page, a PHP a template file, that would allow you to create a completely different uh, layout for a, a different page using the slug for, from that particular page.